Today is a very special day in our calendar of events at Women's Health in the North. We are holding our annual general meeting, which is part of our requirement as an incorporated not-for-profit uh, organisation. And it's a fantastic opportunity for us to showcase the work that we're doing in sexual and reproductive health across the northern metropolitan region, including the launch of some new hot off the press fact sheets about sexual and reproductive health. It's really important to be here today at the ATM. I know that we meet every year and we look at our work, we have a look at our obligations, our responsibilities, and we celebrate all of the wonderful things that we've done. The fact sheets that we're launching today have been designed to be transformative, to be accessible and to be inclusive. And we're going to be using them to engage with our community, engage with our regional partners to learn more about sexual and reproductive health and start prioritising it as an issue for our community. So the fantastic staff team here at WIM have pulled together seven fact sheets, one for each of the local government areas in our region, as well as this one for the northern metropolitan region. WIM has a sexual and reproductive health strategy called Going South in the North. That strategy actually places sexual and reproductive health in a cultural, political and social framework. It's looking at all aspects of women's life and promotes sex positivity and sexual and reproductive health. When we talk about sex positivity, what we want to make really clear is what sex positivity is not. It's not being up for sex all the time, it's not wanting to talk about sex all the time or sharing your sex stories. It's about a really healthy attitude towards sex as a normal human function. We want to be embracing comprehensive sexual health education and taking a good, honest, non-judgmental approach to sexual and reproductive health. It's really important that women are able to share their personal stories and that these stories are at the centre of what we do in this work. We need to think about um, ensuring that sexual and reproductive health information is presented in an accessible, uh, culturally appropriate manner and that it is relevant to their needs because we've got a really diverse community of women in the region, not just from different cultural backgrounds, but women with different abilities, women who are across the lifespan, young women who are having children. So we want to actually be working for all women and we want to work with our partners to ensure that the services that are delivered to women in the northern region are the best possible services that they can access.